Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and I approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I consecrated you to myself as my own. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. That's Jeremiah 1.5. Crouched in the outfield, my small son of only 10 or so caught an incoming ball. Proud of himself, he looked to me in the stands to make sure that I'd witnessed his triumph. I had, and I returned his glance with a smile and a thumbs up as moms do. A bit later, a runner was rounding the bases and unsure what he should do, Dakota looked up at me for direction. Later still, he would made another move that he was super proud of, and in looking to me to cheer him on, he was almost beamed in the head by the next flying ball. Pointing two fingers to my eyes and then to his coach, I gestured for him to keep his eyes on his coach. In that moment, I knew it was time to start releasing him, to encourage him to seek direction from someone who knows the game better than I do, someone with a clear view of the field and of the plays. A few years later, Dakota left for the Army and I was broken both because I would miss him terribly and because I had some fears and some regrets about this direction for his life. Even now, when I think about that time, the memory of that season brings tears. It was so hard. But during a time of prayer, shortly after Dakota shipped out, God reminded me of that day in the stands. Now it was time for me to truly let him go so he could learn who he was and what he was capable of for himself. It seems so much easier to look to those around us for our identity and for acceptance. These are people with skin on, people with faces we can see and with voices we can hear. But they don't hold the key to our identity our purpose, or our destiny. Only God does. So, my friend, may I encourage you today to ask the one who created you and knows you best to show you who you really are. Release yourself from the chains of seeking validation from others and instead seek it from the one who truly matters. Dive into scripture and ask Holy Spirit to show you how God sees you. Seek out verses that reveal who God says you are. Explore the scriptures that speak of your worth, your purpose, and your identity in Him. Allow His words to shape your understanding of yourself and to illuminate the incredible person that you were created to be. So, my dear friend, go forth with confidence, embrace your journey, seek God's truth, and discover the beautiful masterpiece that is you. For our scripture cultivations this month, we're going to flip things around just a little bit. Instead of me sending you a completed scripture cultivations list, we're going to create one together. So, here's how that's going to work. First, as you find scripture that speak to your identity, just drop them in the comments, either here under the YouTube video or on the special post that will be in our Fixed Community Facebook group. And then, at the end of the month, I'll compile the list that we've all created together and I'll email them back to you as a completed scripture cultivations list in August. So if you aren't already on the fixed list and you want to get a copy of the scripture cultivations when they're ready, you can join the list at the link down below. And if you're new to the fixed community and don't know what scripture cultivations are, well, they're a lot like a scripture reading list or a scripture writing list, but so much more. The whole purpose here at Beneath the Fig Tree is to help you cultivate a devotion life that you love 
And so as your devotional life mentor or devotional life guide or whatever it is <laughs> we want to call me, my mission is to give you lots of different tools and ideas and inspiration so that you can experiment and find what works best for you in this season of your life. Beneath the Fig Tree is also a safe space for authentic conversations and meaningful connections both with each other and with God. So after you print off the scripture cultivations plan each month, or this month a little bit differently, um, as you help to create the scripture cultivations plan, join us over in the Fixed Community Facebook group, uh, where a lot of times I'll go live in the group so that we can cultivate together. Um, you can join in the conversation, share those verses that you find, share those aha moments that you have with God, because don't we all love having somebody to share those moments with? We finally just something clicks and we just have to share it with somebody. Um, the Fixed Community Facebook group is a really great place to do that. And um, that's also where we're doing the scripture cultivations together and you can share whatever that looks like for you. If you aren't already getting our scripture cultivations and you want to, again, you can click on the link down below for the fixed list and I'll start sending them to you. Also, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and click the little bell thingy so that you get notified when each new video drops. And that's it, Figs. See you soon.